Hello there everyone, my name is Chris and today we are announcing a new partnership with the fine folks at Helium. Helium produces an IoT wireless product line that allows you to use their access points to connect to cloud-based platforms such as the ones from Microsoft, Google, or Amazon, or you can even use your own private services that you have at your home or business, or a conjunction of the two. So let's take a closer look at what we have in the two kits that are also available today. First up, let's take a look at the Helium Atom prototyping module. This little guy is a low-powered dual-band wireless module that has been made specifically for developers. The Atom operates on an IEEE 802.15.4 networking standard with a wireless connectivity of 915 MHz and 2.4 GHz in the US, while the EU is at 868 MHz at 2.4 GHz. The Atom offers great hardware-based encryption, authentication, and authorization security, and operates at 2 volts to 3.6 volts, though 3.3 volts is the typical voltage range for it. All Atom devices connect to the nearest element access point using Helium's wireless technology that allows these boards to communicate long distances with little interference and requiring no device level configuration. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the element access point now. The element ethernet access point is the bridge between the Atom modules and your preferred cloud platform. Each element connects to the Helium routing infrastructure over ethernet while data is securely routed to any cloud platform of your choice. It too operates on the IEEE 802.15.4 networking standards, and the wireless connectivity is the same with the element as it is with the Atom. It also has a typical operating range of 4,500 square feet or several miles within line of sight. Of course, you're gonna need some way to connect the Atom to your access point, and that's where these adapter boards come in. We have two different versions of adapter boards, one for Arduino and Embed, and the other for Raspberry Pi. These are easy to use little boards, and they do slightly differ, but let's go into a little bit of detail about them. The Arduino Embed adapter board features two SMA connectors that you can attach two included antenna to. One is 2.4 gigahertz, while the other is a sub gigahertz. Unlike the Arduino Embed adapter board, the Atom to Raspberry Pi adapter board does not feature any SMA connectors, so you'll have to rely on the two dual band antenna on the prototyping module already. Instead, the Atom to Raspberry Pi adapter board does feature a spot where you can attach an NRF 24L01 antenna and a nice RGB status LED. Now, if you're not wanting to buy all the Helium parts individually, that's okay. And the reason why is because we have two different kits available as well, one for the Arduino and one for the Raspberry Pi. Each kit includes everything that you see here, as well as a power cable and CAT6 Ethernet cable. So, if you're wanting to get into IoT technologies while operating under a cloud-based service, we really recommend the Helium product line. We are ple- no. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. IoT wireless web- uh, Today we're going to be, we're going to be an ire, an ireless, all the words, wireless product, product other clouds, with, 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 anything. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Boom, all right.